Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered right here. Okay, so before we get into some NBA action for March 24, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP club section here. You see it has all the tools up at the top here to help you make your picks. Okay, so there's uh, several games scheduled for the 24th. We're going to go over four of them, so I'm going to get started here with ones I think are the most important ones for the day. we got Philadelphia at Los Angeles. You see Philadelphia comes in average down, 3-3 three and three over their last six, while the Clippers are 2-4 and four over their last six and ice cold up. Um, if you look at the over-under, you can see Philadelphia involved in game under the line of each of the last six, and Los Angeles over the line of four out of the last six. So the teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the line. If you take a look at the score prediction, it looks like a blowout prediction for favor of the Clippers, 115 to 99, confidence in the prediction of 70%. Uh, the Clippers are coming in fourth in the Western Conference. Philadelphia struggling at eighth in the Eastern Conference. Not a big surprise uh, playing without uh, Joel Embiid. And he'll be out again you know, for probably a couple more weeks. So they're really treading water right now with him out of the lineup. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, I'm not surprised that the Clippers have the edge here at plus 18 compared to plus 11. You see Philadelphia on the steep downward uh, decline in that category. Head-to-head, uh, -head, the two teams have not yet met this season, so we're not going to really consider that factor at all. Uh, Los Angeles is 25-12 and 12 at home. Uh, Philadelphia is a surprisingly pretty good 17-16 uh, and 16 on the road. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, both teams are on the upward trend on that category, meaning that they're both uh, being pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. I really don't see much of a chance here, though, for Philadelphia in this one on the road. So let's go with the Clippers to win this one, uh, perhaps by double digits. And I'm going to go in a game under the line. Cleveland and Miami. Cleveland comes in third in the Eastern Conference, while Miami is trying to avoid the play-in round. So they have a lot to play for as well. They're currently seventh in the conference. If you look right now, Miami is 3-1 and one over the last four. And average status, well, actually, Miami is 3-1 and one over the last four average stats in Cleveland, um, ice cold down just two and four over the last six. If you look at the over-under trend, um, Cleveland involved in games over the line in four out of the last six, while Miami is involved in games under the line in five out of the last six. So again, we have two teams trending in games on opposite sides of the line. But the score prediction would be a pretty high scoring game of 114 to 112 if this holds true with Miami winning, but the confidence in the prediction is very low right now at 34%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, Cleveland on an upward downward trend. They did peak at 23 back on the, on uh, March the uh, 20th. Now they are down at 19, while Miami is at plus 12. Um, so one interesting thing here is that Cleveland has one of the best road records in the league at 21 and 12, and Miami is only two games over 500 at home. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, in the three games played this season, Miami has won two of them. The interesting thing about this is that uh, each road team has won, so the home teams have not fared well this season uh, between these two teams in head-to-head -head matchup. If you look at the volatility oscillator, both teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, although Cleveland has been pretty inconsistent as of late. You can see they are, they are at plus um, 17 back on February the uh, 10th and they are now 13 you know like a month and a half later so they've dipped by four in that category in the last month and a half so recently they have been very inconsistent so in the end though i like this one to be a, a cleveland win in a game over the line we got golden state and minnesota that's got another interesting matchup to take a look at um this one here Golden State comes in average status 3-3 three three over the last six, while Minnesota is average down also 3-3 three three over the last six. Um, if you take a look at the over-under streak, the teams have been involved in games over the line, both of them four out of the last six, although Minnesota two out of the last three has been under the line. The score prediction has Minnesota by a narrow two-point win, 111-109. to 109. Confidence in the prediction is at 61%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator on this one, uh, let's see. Clearly, Minnesota is above Golden State, although they, they've been really up and down. Uh, they're at 21 right now. Golden State has been steady at plus 10 over the last uh, few days. 
Uh, the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams. You can see Minnesota won the previous two meetings, both at the early part of the season, both of them on the road, and both of them were uh, close games, six-point win and a three-point win. I don't see that Golden State can have too much of a chance here in this one. Minnesota's 23-9 and nine at home, although uh, Golden State has a good road record of 18-14. I like Minnesota to win this one, and but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. We got Oklahoma City and Milwaukee, and, and we're going to take a look at this one as well. Oklahoma City comes in with the best record in the Western Conference. Milwaukee, the second best record in the Eastern Conference. This is going to be the, the, the game of the day, I believe. And Milwaukee comes in average down three and three over the last six. And you look at Oklahoma City burning hot. They're five and one over their last six. Um, if you take a look at this streak here for the over under, you got Oklahoma City two and four, a uh, two over and four under. That's what I meant in the last six. And Milwaukee has four games over and two games under. So they're trending on opposite sides of the line. The score prediction, this would be a higher scoring over the line game, 120 to 119. In favor of Oklahoma City, confidence in the prediction a little bit higher than a coin toss at 53%. If we take a look at the uh, power ranks, not surprised that both teams are near the top of the league in that department, plus 27 and plus 22, respectively. Oklahoma City is very good on the road, 20 and 13, and they are the hotter team at the moment. And because of that, I like them. Uh, I give them the edge in this game. So let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup first before we make the final pick. Uh, Oklahoma City won by 23 points in the first game between the two teams at home. It's not going to be a game like that, but they will win this one. So I like um, Oklahoma City to edge the Bucks in that game, maybe like two to five points, and I'm going to go over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for March 24th. Happy betting, and see you again next time.